Hello everyone, this presentation is about in situ rapid measurement of the photocatalytic performance of construction materials. My name is Eva Jimenez from CSIC and this work is done with the professor Marta Castellote. The Medida is the name of our spin-off CSIC. We work for pollution. Sale of equipment and consumables to ensure reliability in smart materials against pollution. This is the team of the Medida. The leader is Marta Castellote, from CSIC, another staff for also CSIC are Isabel Martinez, Angel Castillo, and Eva Jimenez. Also, Francisco Jimenez is the product developer from Balbo Electronic. This work starts because the consumer have a lot of questions of this type of material. Does the material work? Is it reliable? How can I measure it? Can I measure this material in situ condition? This is the following device. Following half a size of a smartphone, the device work alone because have a memory for the measurement or together with the computer in order to see the measurement at the moment. How does it work? In this video, you can see how work this type of equipment? The first step is the application of the ink onto the photocatalytic surface. In this case, the surface that analyzed is a white paint. When the ink was dry, you can start the test. After less than 10 minutes, you can obtain the result of the test. You can obtain numerical data and you can obtain a visual result of the testing material. This is the typical results that can you obtain with you use the following device. The material is photocatalytic when the ink change the color from blue to pink. And this is the numerical result that can you obtain with the device. You can different numerical parameters that 
uh, allow compare different photocatalytic efficiency materials. The comparison of following device and conventional technique. Following device is a portable equipment. You can measure in situ condition. Is non-destructive measurement. Is fast, cheap, and easy measurement and results interpretation. This is some of preliminary tests. We analyze different material, different building material that include commercial and lab prepared materials, paint, mentitious material with different photocatalyst configuration. First, we analyze this material with nitrogen oxide air purification test based on the ISO standard 22197. This is the comparison between nitrogen oxide degradation test and following numerical data. You can observe a good correlation with some deviation. The deviation is related with the high porous material condition. Therefore, now work about the improve of the ink application on rawness samples, the increment of the number of tested materials and finally they compare with other standardized tests. If you have any question you can write on this email. Thank you very much.